Swim, my favourite thing. <laughs> Watch out, the speedy fish. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Daytona was a bit of a kick to kind of say, right, you know, really need to buckle down and, and try and improve the swim. I think I kind of knew that heading into Daytona and it's something that I've been conscious of ever since I went pro. Being so far out of the water in Daytona was kind of like, right, I, I don't want to be in this position again. I had a few weeks of holiday after Daytona, but actually managed to keep swimming in the sea. Usually I have a bit of a break from swimming, but I decided this year, no, I'm not going to have a break. I'm going to just keep it going. So I think for me that break affects me quite a lot and takes me a while to get that feel for the water back. Getting back to the UK, obviously the announcement that everything was locked down again was a bit of a shame. Using the sessions that I was doing with the Masters as one of the key things to kind of help with my swim. I guess the kind of paces that they're swimming and the kind of sets that they do have been really good. Getting a bit more of that fast pace, having lots of people to swim with, it's quite a nice environment, everyone's very encouraging and I think I kind of thrive off that. That was a bit tough to come back and know that I wasn't able to swim with them. However, I was very lucky in that I still had access to a pool and I could still swim with some of the kind of speedy swimmers around Leeds. I basically had a chat with Will and we're like, right, let's do a big block of lots of swimming. We haven't necessarily tried massive volume, so we're like, we'll try a bit of volume. The least of it is that you'll get really fit and even if that doesn't then come through, at least you've got a whole load of swim fitness behind you. So I think I ended up doing five and a half weeks of 30k swim weeks, which definitely a lot more than I was doing before. I'd probably like a bigger week for me would have been 23 to 24k, so I guess it was a bit of a step up. Will you find me? Hope you find me. Because of being able to swim with the squad, I was actually getting a bit of input from the swim coach, Cos, as well, to kind of look at my strokes, some of the things that I was doing wrong, and there were lots of things. So I had like, most weeks I had something slightly different to think about and work on, which was also quite good, but I could see some of that coming through with my stroke and kind of how it felt, so that was quite rewarding. The first couple of weeks of swimming that much, I just felt horrible in the water. I think every time I came in, I was like, oh, just my arms are tired, my shoulders ache. Everything was like really stiff up here and just generally felt horrible. I think then that third week, we were doing a bit of a speed set on the Friday and that was the day that I got my new sort of 50 metre PB and I managed to do a 35 second 50 metre, which for me is like <laughs> massive PB. I think before that I'd maybe done a couple of 39 second ones, so that felt like good progress. Then it felt like I was going completely backwards again. Very frustrating. I think I had one complete meltdown swim session where I rang Will up in tears afterwards, just being like, why am I not getting any better? At the time, it felt like I'd been <laughs> doing that kind of swim work for ages, and it just felt like I was going massively backwards, and I wasn't even swimming as fast as I had been before Florida. No surprise, really, considering the volume I was doing. set myself up properly for the, the days that I was trying to swim fast and kind of take the pressure off because I think when I was swimming more relaxed not really thinking about it I would swim much better because I didn't have in my head oh it's like a speed set and I've got to swim fast and oh my god what if I don't swim fast in the warm-up just swim at my pace think about your technique think really hard about everything that you're doing don't think about speed and then actually just trying to relax a lot more on the faster stuff been swimming more like 24k a week again so dialed the volume back a little bit which has been quite nice no more double swims i think like there's been again like a few pretty good swims and a few that have also still felt a bit terrible i definitely find when i'm a bit tired from other stuff my swim still goes massively backwards so the kind of thursday morning swim post swift racing on a wednesday night is never great overall seeing little bits of progress again it seems like i take maybe one little step forward maybe Maybe three steps back and then keep trying to push forward.
At the moment I am swimming six times a week, every morning, Monday to Friday, and then I fit an extra swim in over the weekend, depending a bit on what else I'm doing over the weekend. Monday, easy swim, Tuesday, more VO2 set, Wednesday, long swim, Thursday, threshold set, Friday, sort of technique set, with a little bit of speed thrown in, and then whatever I do over the weekend is again much more drills, technique and kind of easy swim. Two really hard swims <laughs> and they do feel really hard. And the rest of it all quite easy. The one thing I'm really trying to work on at the moment is my left arm. <laughs> when I put it in the water, it somehow it kind of goes in like this. So I'm trying to get it in straight, which doesn't sound like it should be that hard, but I'm finding that really hard at the moment. So <laughs> it's the little things, it's the little things. Keep working at it. I really wish I'd done more swimming when I was younger. I feel like in a much more positive space about swimming now. I've realised if I relax about it a bit more, I tend to do a bit better. It still feels like there's a lot more to do. I know a bit more now about what else I need to do to get there. So I feel like I've at least got a strategy.